dear students i mr vishal shah assistant professor krishna institute of pharmacy karada welcome you all to this second session benzene and its derivatives part 2 now in last part we have seen the introductory part of the benzene that is the what is the meaning of aliphatic compounds what is the meaning of aromatic compounds also we have seen the what are the different mono substituted benzenes then di substituted benzene then poly substituted benzene now today we are going to start with the next part that is the structure of benzene now there were some physical and chemical methods were there which are used to determine the structure of given compounds so by using this physical and chemical methods the structure of benzene was derived now what are the different learning outcomes of this session after this session learners will be able to explain the structure of benzene means after this session you should able to explain the structure of benzene so let's begin with the structure of benzene now before proceeding with this session when the benzene was isolated first time so it was isolated as a oily compound so at that time the structure of that particular compound was not known and also this is the first compound which is having a aromatic structure so when it was first isolated it was understood that it will be having mainly straight chain or branched chain type of the structure but scientists were not aware that this particular structure of benzene is having a six membered ring which is having a cyclic nature so how this particular structure of benzene was derived so first step is about the molecular formula there are certain physical and chemical methods are there by using this physical and chemical methods we can derive the molecular formula of given compound means if we have certain substance say solid or liquid substance and by using this physical and chemical methods we can determine the molecular formula of given compound so by using this molecular formula scientists were known that the molecular formula of that particular benzene is c6h6 today we easily know that particular molecular formula of C benzene is c6 h6 but at that time this molecular formula was not known and which was derived by using this particular different physical and chemical methods so this is the first point now from this molecular formula it is very clear that benzene is highly saturated and sorry unsaturated compound now unsaturated compound means what now we know the basic example of alkane and alkene alkane is consisting of a only single bond while alkene alkynes are consisting of a double or triple bond so when compound is consisting of a single bond they are known as the saturated compounds and if a compound is consisting of either double bond or a triple bond they are considered as a unsaturated compound so benzene is unsaturated compound why because if we compare it with the n hexane n hexane is also consisting of the six carbon atoms and we know the general molecular formula of alkanes is cn h twice n plus 2 so if we calculate the molecular formula by using this general molecular formula for the hexane we come to know that the molecular formula of benzene is c6h14 and here you can see the how many hydrogen atoms are present here only six hydrogen atoms are there means eight hydrogens are less in a benzene as compared to the hexane while number of carbon atoms are same so from that it will be understood that benzene is highly unsaturated compound means just we have to compare this molecular formula with the general molecular formula of the alkane if number of hydrogens are same then you can say that particular compound is a saturated and if the number of hydrogens are less then you can say that particular compound is unsaturated so this is about the first point that is the molecular formula now we have to fit a formula that is the c6h6 into the straight chain which will be having either double or triple bond now we can write down the structure of benzene 
in a straight chain or branched chain form in which we will be having a double or triple bond but this is not possible the second point is straight ch chain structure for benzene is not possible why now we know or you have studied the different reactions of the alkenes and alkynes now as i have said that the structure of benzene is consisting of double or triple bond when there is a presence of the double bond or triple bond these compounds are uh, respectively are known as the alkenes and alkynes now from this point it is clear that benzene is consisting of either double or triple bond means that particular benzene should belong to the alkenes and alkynes and as this benzene belong to the alkenes and alkynes it should give reactions that are shown positive by the alkenes and alkynes so these different reactions are not given positive by the benzene means the behavior of that particular benzene is not like alkenes and alkynes and alkenes and alkynes are nothing but the straight chain compounds so the straight chain structure is not possible from the benzene now which are the different reactions that are shown by alkenes positive but benzene does not show these reactions positive for example these are the few reactions it does not decolorize bromine in carbon tetrachloride or cold aqueous potassium permanganate also it does it did not add water in presence of the acid now whatever these three reactions are there these three reactions are easily given by the alkenes or alkynes when you add bromine in presence of carbon tetrachloride or bromine in presence of the sorry a dilute cold potassium permanganate or water in presence of the acid all these reactions are given positive by alkenes and alkynes but if, if you see over here benzene when reacted with these compounds no reaction is observed so from this point scientists concluded that the benzene does not have a straight chain or branched chain type of the structure so something different is there at that time they were not known that the structure of benzene is consisting of the cyclic form so again the res more research was carried out to derive the exactly structure of the benzene now later the scientists were concluded that the given structure of benzene is having a cyclic nature because certain evidences were found that the benzene is having a cyclic structure now what are these different evidences now when you perform the addition reaction of bromine to the benzene now here in previous slide you may remember we have seen reaction of benzene with bromine in presence of cold carbon tetrachloride but if that cold carbon tetrachloride is replaced by the lewis acid this febr3 that benzene gives reaction now also the alkenes and alkynes gives addition reaction addition reaction means what now we will take the example of alkenes as we know alkenes are consisting of the double bond so when we add a certain addition reagent say for example hydrogen so when hydrogen is added this double bond is broken down and the each hydrogen atom is connected to the carbon atom so this reaction is known as the addition reaction where two hydrogen atoms are connected to the two different carbon atoms now the benzene does not give addition reactions positive already we have seen in that last slide but it gives a substitution reaction substitution reaction means what so here you can see when benzene is reacted with bromine in presence of febr3 it gives a monobromo benzene means mono substituted benzene is obtained what we are expecting when this bromine is added each bromine atom should go to the this carbon atom and this double bond should be broken down but it was not observed you here you can see the benzene is consisting of the double bonds as it is and here we are getting mono substituted benzene derivative now why this happening because here when this bromine approaches the benzene the bromine when approaches to this particular benzene 
it does not understand these are the six carbon atoms it behaves like there is a presence of only one carbon atom and that's why i have said if you remember the introductory part whatever the carbon atoms that are present in the benzene are there all these are equivalent that's why when bromine approaches to the benzene it considers it as a only one carbon atom is there and one bromine atom is added to this particular one carbon atom and this hydrogen atom that is present over here it is replaced and it combines with the other bromine atom which leads into the formation of hydrogen bromide so from this it was clear that the benzene may be having a cyclic structure also there were other points were there from which scientists confirmed that there is a presence of the cyclic structure in the structure of the benzene so as i said depending upon this the scientists concluded that the all six hydrogen atoms that are present in the benzene they are identical now here for this benzene we can give numbering to any carbon atom because all hydrogen atoms are identical but if we consider the bromo benzene we have to give first number to this particular carbon atom only why when substitution is present on the benzene ring all these particular hydrogen atoms will change they are not identical so these two hydrogen atoms are identical these two hydrogen atoms are ident identical and this particular hydrogen atom is identical that we will see afterwards so means here we have to give a first number to only this particular carbon atom and then second third fourth likewise but here we can start with the any number of carbon atoms then second point in which scientists concluded that there is a presence of the structure of the benzene as a six membered cyclic ring here they have carried out the addition of hydrogen now when hydrogen is added to benzene it will take three moles of hydrogen remember how many moles three moles of hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst to give a cyclohexane now here you can observe the structure of this benzene and here you can observe the structure of the cyclohexane this is a unsaturated structure because there is a presence of the three double bonds here this is the saturated structure now why only three moles of hydrogen were required because we know when we carry out the addition reaction to the alkene or a double bond one mole of hydrogen is required to convert one double bond into the a single bond that is the so we have seen in the addition of the alkenes now here as three moles of hydrogen are required we can say that the benzene is consisting of three three double bonds that's why for benzene to get converted into the saturated form it requires the three moles of hydrogen and from that means we have to do a molecular formula c6h6 and it should be have a three double bonds by considering all these points if we have to write down the structure scientists were written the structure as a six membered ring containing three double bond so kekul was the first scientist who has given this particular structure also the whatever this particular structure is there means by considering the above fact what 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 is above fact that the ring which is having a three double bonds and which fit the molecular formula the depending upon that particular kekul derived this particular structure that is the benzene is having this particular structure but also whatever this particular structure of benzene that was derived it does not fit the chemical behavior of the benzene so also certain modifications were required so certain chemical reactions are there that are not shown positive by the benzene and that's why also this particular structure is discarded and why this particular structure is discarded which are the different chemical reactions that are not given positive by benzene that we will see in the next lecture thank you